Hi, I'm Don Carr, and today I'm going to talk about compressor pedals. If you're new to the concept of compressor pedals, you're in the right place because I'm going to start with the basics of how they work, dial in a few settings to show different ways you can use them. On a basic level, an audio compressor reduces the amount of dynamic range of an audio signal, makes quiet sounds louder and loud sounds quieter. So think of it this way. If your guitar signal is from here to here, loudest to softest, what a compressor does is lowers the ceiling on the loud stuff and raises the floor on the quiet stuff. So the resulting effect is that the sound has evenness and sustain, and that effect can be either subtle or dramatic depending on how you set the compressor. I've got a Keeley Compressor Plus, which is a great sounding compressor, and it functions the same as a lot of other guitar compressor pedals. So looking at the controls, the sustain control is effectively the amount of compression. Turn it up for more compression, turn it down for less. I'm going to play an example and let you hear what it sounds like. I'll start with the sustain all the way down and slowly turn it up. So what you heard was the compressor actually engaging more as I turned it up. So remember my example of loud stuff quieter, quiet stuff louder. So the initial attack of the string, so the downstroke strum, that's the loudest stuff. So it kept getting quieter as I turned it up, and the quieter stuff was louder. So in this case, the quieter stuff is the sustained chord, the end of the chord that normally dies off. So in this case, the level of the end of that note was brought up, so it was a lot more even. So again, we're back to this effect. So let's listen one more time, check it out. So the level control is the overall output level which you'll set relative to the sustain setting. Now remember that as you add compression, you're lowering the ceiling on the loud stuff, so the overall perceived volume is lower. So use the level control to compensate, or you can even actually give it a volume boost. I'll start playing with the compressor off, then I'll turn it on, and you can hear how the level comes down, and I'm gonna use the level control to compensate. <laughs> The tone control affects the high end of the compressed sound. Now this helps because since the initial attack of a guitar note is loud, it gets compressed and that can make the perceived sound duller so you can use the tone control to brighten it up. The blend control allows you to add some of your original guitar sound without the compressor on it, along with the compressed sound. Now this is really useful to put some of the initial attack of your note back into the mix, and it also can make the compressed sound more subtle. On this compressor, the blend control starts at a half and half mix and goes all the way to full compressed. So check this out. <laughs> Here's some settings that are useful for specific playing applications. Like this one, for example, is like if you're playing an arpeggiated chord and you just really want it to ring together and glue together and just be nice and bright and jangly. So here's that sound.
For this sound, I like some of the original signal, the uncompressed sound blended in, a lower sustain setting, and a little bit of a level boost. <laughs> Here's one that's a little more suited to chicken picking. Here's a setting that might be a little more suited to like snappy funk rhythms. This is a sound that's great for long sustained lead lines, like single note stuff. You can also use this with an overdrive pedal just to add extra sustain to that sound as well. Another great trick you can do with compressor pedals is to use them as a clean boost. Now what I mean by that is uncompressed, just a level raise. Well, I mean, you're still using a compressor, right? So it's going to be slightly, slightly compressed. But if you set the sustain as low as possible, then you can use the level control just as a boost. Now it's even easier to do it with the Keeley because I've got a blend knob so I can blend back in some of the original guitar signal. So here's what that sounds like. I'm going to start with the compressor off so you can get a comparison. Hope this gets you thinking about how you might want to use a compressor. I'm definitely a fan. It's an essential pedal for me. As you dig deeper, you'll find more compressors have more features and more options. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. So if you have any questions about compressor pedals, you can contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or you can start at Sweetwater.com. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Don Carr, thanks. <laughs>